Aí pro pé. So, my topic is all about common and proper nouns. And my content standard uh, is recognize common and proper noun in simple sentences listed. And performance standard, identify the proper and common nouns in simple sentences listed too. And my learning objectives are cognitive, identify the proper and common nouns and simple sentences. Affective, dem demonstrate understanding and the importance of using proper and common noun. And my, and my psychomotor is write a simple sentence using proper and common nouns. So my reference are... Ano, Teacher Guide, page 52 to 54, as ML, MELC, page 179, and Learning Activity Sheets, Worksheets, number 3, or module ng ano, grade 2. Materials I will, I will use is ano, cell phone and PowerPoint presentation. So, again, good morning, class. Before we start, let us pray. So, good morning, class. So, how was your weekend? That's good. Have you enjoyed your weekend bonding with your family? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. Okay, class. First, let's, let's check your attendance. Stay present if you are here, ha. Huh? Since no one is absent today, very good. Please maintain that perfect attendance. So, before tayo mag-review, again, what are the five classroom rules that we have? Yes, first, very good. First, try your best. Second, listen to others. Third, be kind to others. Four, be polite. Five, and have fun. Okay, very good. Bef before we move on on our next lesson, again, What are the vowels and consonants letters? So, how many vowels do we have? Five, ma'am. Very good. We have five vowels. And these are A, E, I, O, and U. 
And how many consonants do we have? Very good. We have 21 consonants. And that's R, letter B, C, D, F, G, H, K, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, and Z. So, excellent. So, I have here uh, different features. So, what can you see in the picture? Very good. Good. And then in the next picture, what did you see? What are the things that you see in the picture? Pencil, mouth. Scissor. Okay, very Books. good. Okay, very good. Things used in school are seen in that picture. Like scissor, bag, pencil, ruler, notebook, and um, crayons. So, are you, fami are you familiar to all the things that you use in the in the in school yes, yes teacher okay very good so okay now we are going to read a short story We are going to find out what are the things of Pam and Karen in school okay are you ready to listen, class? Yes, ma'am. So, what are you going to do while listening to the short story? You must sit, proper, sit properly and listen carefully. So, Pam and Karen are sisters. Pam is 8 years old while Karen is 6 years old. They are studying in Rizal Elementary School. Pam has a red school bag while Karen has a yellow school bag. Both of them use Mongol pencil and they always wear Adidas shoes. So, again, who are the children in the story? Very good. Pam and Karen. What are the things of Pam and Karen in the school? In school. Very good. Pam and Karen has bag, pencils, and shoes. So, where did they study? Very good. In Rizal Elementary School. So, Pam, Karen, bags, pencil, shoes, and Rizal Elementary School are example of nouns. So again, what is now? Very good. Nouns are names of persons, things, animals, and places. So there are two types of... Oh, like, did you see in that picture? There have animals, um, persons, things, and places. So... There are two types of nouns. The common noun and the proper noun. So, a common noun names of any person, things, animals, and places it does not start with capital letter unless used at the beginning of a sentence. So, 
I have here a different example of nouns. A common noun. Dray, lumayas ka muna. Sorry po. Dray, balik ka dun kay Lula mo. Sorry ma'am. So, I have here example of common nouns in persons like father, mother, police, policeman, teacher, doctor, Oh, that are the example of person in common nouns. They don't have a specific name, so they just start with a small letter. Okay, class? So, another another example. Things. We have books. Laptop. Shoes. And television. Again, they don't have a specific name, so they just start with a small letter. So, in animals naman, we have bird, dog, cat, rabbit, Yan. again, as you see, they don't have a specific name, so they just start with a small letter. Again, class, what are what are I know what is common noun? Very good. A common noun is names of any person, things, animals, and places. So how how do we identify the common noun in a simple sentences again? Very good. They don't have a specific, a specific name. So, they just start with a small letter. As you can see in my example. So, next. Um, places. I have also example in different places. Like playground. Church. School. And mall. And also, they don't have a specific name, so they just start with a small letter. So, again, next is proper noun. A proper noun names a specific person, things, animals, and places instead of a general one. It is the exact and special name for any noun. It always begins with a capital letter. So, I have also example of um, different proper nouns. In persons, so we have, so in person, I uh, in father, Mr. Um, as you can see, the name of this father is Marlon. The name of this mother is Lorna. The name of this policeman is Sergeant Lucas. They have exact name. So, here, the doctor and the teacher. So, the name of this um, her name is Mrs. Garcia. She is the teacher. And the doctor name is Dr. Pizarro. Marlon, Lorna, Sergeant Lucas, Mrs. Garcia, and Dr. Pizarro are example of proper noun. So, another example in things. So, the name of this book is Essential English to 
book. Essential English 2 is the specific name of this book. So, so, sa laptop, the branch of this laptop is Acer. It is the specific name of a laptop. The laptop, did you see in that ano? So, in shoes, the, bra the branch of these shoes is Adidas. Adidas is the specific name of these shoes. So, the specific name of this television is LG. It is the brand of the, of the te television. So, the essential book to Acer, Adidas, and LG are example of proper noun. Again, it begins with capital letter. So, another example of proper noun in animals are like this. In common noun, so in this bird, the common noun is bird. And the proper noun is Tweety. So again, what what animals did you see in the picture? Very good. Bird. So next is The common noun is dog and the proper noun is brownie. Brownie is the name of the dog. So, another example. The common noun is cat. And the proper noun is Charlie. And this an uh, ano uh, another picture. The common noun is rabbit, and the proper noun is Tumpy. The cat and rabbit is common noun. Charlie and Tumpy is proper noun. So as you can see in this example, the um uh, the sm uh, um proper noun begins. With a capital letter and the common noun begins with small letter since we, we are not using it in a sentence. So, did you understand class? And the last play, place in the last places. So, the common noun are playground. Charge, and the proper noun is time zone, and the name of the church, which is St. Peter and Paul Parish. Next is, the common noun are school and mall. And the proper noun is the name of the school, which is Samal Elementary School and Mega Mall. So, the time zone, St. Peter and Paul Parish and Samal Elementary School and Mega Mall are our proper noun. Did you understand class? Very good. Let's see if you understand our lesson. So, I have a few questions to you, to you, class. Is it important to understand the importance of using proper and common noun in our daily lives? Very good. Because it helps us to easily identify 
and describe a person, place, things, or idea that is specific and concrete. So why is it important to know proper nouns? Proper nouns identify specific people, places, and things. Using proper nouns correctly clarifies your writing and, endure and ensures that readers know exactly what you are talking about. So, okay, I have here examples of proper and common nouns. So, look for the common nouns and proper nouns used in the story. So, you will just answer, okay? So, in column A, it is the specific, I, in column A, are the common nouns and in its specific name are the proper nouns in column B. So, who want to answer? And number one, sisters, what is the proper noun? Okay, very good. Pam and Karen. School? Very good. Rizal Elementary School. Next, Pencil. Very good. Mongol is the specific name of Pencil. So, Shoes. Very good. Adidas is the brand of the shoes in the story. So, So, I have here an activity. Group yourself into five members and write a simple sentence using proper and common nouns. Provided below. Okay, class? So, I will give you seven minutes to do that activity and later we will check it. Okay? Okay. You will just group yourself into five and will write a simple sentence using proper and common nouns. Okay. So, next is, again, what are the two types of nouns? Very good. The two types of nouns are the common nouns common and, and, proper. and proper nouns. Next, what is common and proper noun again, class? A common noun names of a common nouns are names of any persons, things, animals, and places. It does not it does not start with a capital letter unless used at the beginning of a sentence. So, a proper noun names a specific person, things, animal, and places instead of a general one. It is the exact and special name for any noun. It always begins with a capital letter. In, I, <laughs> it always begins with a capital letter. Did you understand, class? So, next is... It is an individual activity. So I will give you five minutes to do this and later we will answer it, okay? Choose the proper nouns and common nouns and write them under the proper column. Okay, class? So five minutes later, also we will answer this activity na. So check your answer if it's correct, okay? So, in first, ano, in first sentence, I love Camarines Norte, my own province. What is the common nouns and the proper nouns? What is the common nouns first? Very good, province. And the proper nouns is Camarines Norte. So, second, my pet dog Bantay says, bow, wow, wow. Bow, wow. Bow, wow, wow. So, what is the common noun in that sentence? Very good. The dog. And the proper noun? Bantai. Okay, very good. So, <laughs> number three. So, 
Sampagita is our national flower. What is the common noun in that sentence? Flower. Flower, ma'am. Very good. And the proper noun? Bob? Sampagita. Very good. So, next is, um, I like Crayola color. So, what is the common noun in the sentence? Color, ma'am. Very good. So, the proper noun is? Crayola. Crayola. Very good. So, next is, Mary Ann is the best among my friends. So, what is the common nouns in that sentence? Friend. Very good. And the proper nouns are, is Mary Ann. So, very good class. So, for tomorrow, I will give you an assignment. So, you will just copy this in your notebook and write the common noun for each proper noun. Which is Mongol, Adidas, Samsung, Toblerone, and Nido. Okay, class? Did you understand, class? Yes. So, okay. Very good. So, so since magagaling kayo, let's give us <laughs> five claps, class, before we end this discussion, uh, this lesson. One. Two, three, four, five. So thank you, thank you, class. See you again tomorrow. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, po. Bye, ma'am. Galing. Bye, ma'am. Ay kala ko student ako, sorry.